Hey, what's up? This is Chris on the longest way. Today is uh, August the 3rd, 2018. I'm very tired. Uh, I don't know how many kilometers we are from Beijing. Really, I don't know. Uh, but what I do know is we're about 50 from the border to Azerbaijan. So, um, yeah, slowly we're making it there. Hopefully we're gonna cross without any problems. And last night I stayed here. Let me show you guys. Stayed in this place here. A, uh, a barbecue place. So like you could sit here and have barbecue or you could sit in any one of these and have barbecued stuff or you could get one of these little cabins. And I got one of these cabins for the night and it didn't ask much money and it was super fun and we hung out and we were all friends and it was awesome. And I slept in here and boy was I happy at night when it came pouring down. It was terrible. It was really, really bad rain. It was so loud, in fact, I couldn't even sleep some of the time because it just kept pounding on the roof there. But I was so happy I had uh, scrapped the camping plan and come here. <laughs> camping would have sucked. Alright, so, um, yeah, we're going to reach the uh, border town today, I hope. And then, uh, yeah, then hopefully tomorrow, Azerbaijan. And it's been good. This has been a good last, well, semi last day here with these friendly people. With Saman, with uh, Muhammad, with Mani, with Martin, with all these people. Talk to you later, guys. I gotta go. Bye bye. So I'm uh, sitting here under this uh, water storage thingy and I'm just resting and then Mehdi comes. This is Mehdi. Hello. Okay. <laughs> With his daughters. Hello, Shalom. Oh, she's a little bit scared. I'm sorry. And hello. <laughs> and they give me this. I don't know what to say. Man. Irani khub. Irani khub. <laughs> okay. Iranians are nice people. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. 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 Merci. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Really, I don't know what to say, man. There are so many nice people in this country. So many. And they're so nice. Man. So, highway it is. But here it's pretty nice because there's not many cars. I don't know if it's because it's Friday, so it's like the weekend, or because we're close to the border. Oh well, yeah, this seems okay. Seems all right. And man, I'm tired. Day number seven of consecutive walking. Whoa, that was the air from the truck. Sometimes they're nice, you know, they cool you down a little bit. A gush of air. Alright, so some mother just mowed down a cow. Man, they drive like fing idiots here. So, uh, there's like these cows here just hanging out on the road. And you know, sometimes they like to go on the other side of the road because that's what they do. But you would think that people would slow down a little bit, right? Like when there's a cow in the middle of the street. But no. Oh man, look at that. Idiots. So like down there, right down there, 
I witness a cow crossing a street, a car going really fast right next to the cow, passing her, startling the cow, and the cow runs in front of another car. There are not many, many things more ridiculous than Iranian driving. And you know, there's this other thing, like, I'm walking around here, and I, I get so many people trying to tell me to go on the other side of the road, because I walk on the left side of the road, right? Because I want to see the oncoming traffic, but they're like, no, go over there, go over there. Man, I feel nothing but pity for them. Like, seriously, your education failed you. Your government failed you. Your police failed you. Your parents failed you. Like everyone just failed you that you wouldn't know that if you walk in and there's no sidewalk, you stay on the left side of the street so you can see the oncoming traffic. Like this is not rocket science. It's just like a failed system. And it's the same here, it's the same in China, it's the same in Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, everywhere. It's all these uh, meritocracies, wink wink, these uh, dictators, not teaching the basic things to people, you know, and that's, that's how shit like this happens. Like the cow just got plowed down there, just got mowed over. And you know, a cow is a big object to hit with your car, so I don't know what that did to the people in the car. They looked fine, but I didn't want to stay around. I didn't want to make the accident scene any more confused. But like, what the hell? You see a cow there, you slow down. You see it in the middle of the fucking street there, you slow down. But hey, <laughs> not here. Man, I don't know why they're not scared of me. Chickens are usually, usually really scared. And ducks. Man, what about that duck there? Peep, 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 peep. Are you coming here to me? Peep, peep, peep. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I know we put them in our soup and everything. But I like them. And I like the peep 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 sound. I'm gonna calm me down a little. <laughs> Man, all that anger. Eee, the little one is moving. Getting close, maybe uh, 15 minutes or something to a hotel. It's supposed to be a nice hotel too. And I need a shower. Actually, I need to get my clothes washed. But oh, and there's a rainstorm again. I don't know if you saw the lightning, but it's coming. Man, I'm tired. <laughs> Sounds like I'm complaining. I'm complaining about the traffic, yep. But uh, about being tired, no. Makes you feel alive. 
Or no, not you, me. Makes me feel alive. And it doesn't feel nice in the moment, but it feels intense. So that's good. From something as simple and stupid as walking. <laughs> so now I gotta wiggle my way through the cars there and find the hotel. And tomorrow is border time. If you guys liked the video, check out the blog. It's thelongestway.com and it posts a uh, map and everything and, and pictures and everything. Or you can share the video. I really don't know who to share it with. You think of someone and tell me in the comments. <laughs> or don't. <laughs> Do something better. Tell you guys later. Peace.